How's it going guys, Sharblox here. About a month ago, I created a video about a very big Roblox Limited trading problem. To quickly sum up that video, it was all about a Roblox Limited accessory theft method called UUC. If you're not sure how this UUC scam works or what it does, it involves trading a glitched Roblox Limited to someone. Normally the item thief makes the trade appear very good and very fair in the victim's perspective, so let's say the hacker has a glitched playful vampire and they are trying to steal the victim's rubber ducky. Now I'm just using this for an example in this video, normally the hacker would target a bigger item but let's just go with this. So what happens next is the hacker will go onto your Roblox profile and they will send you the trade and they will send you a playful vampire which doesn't actually exist and the hacker will request your rubber ducky. So the victim will probably check the Roblox trades, they will see this amazing trade, wow someone wants my rubber ducky for a playful vampire and then you guessed it the victim will accept the trade and the scammer will leave with both of the items the trade will then get stuck while processing so it'll probably be stuck on outbound or inactive but it will in fact be completed it will just be glitched so now the victim is left with nothing so pretty much the victim loses the item in the trade and they get nothing in return and then of course the scammer has got your rubber ducky 100% for free so you might also be curious on on how these glitched accessories are made well apparently there is a couple of methods since this glitched item scam has been happening on and off for a few years now there used to be this method where the glitched and broken limiteds were made using a script maybe that method still works but honestly i don't know i'm not exactly a hacker but apparently there is a new method where you just trade an item many many times until it breaks and glitches however this method sounds very hit or miss to me so i don't know if that's real but these were the two methods that were kind of shared about on Twitter. So yeah, basically the reason as to why I'm making an updated video on this is because there has been a massive increase in UUC scamming since yesterday. And there is also two new solutions to help prevent losing limiteds over this scam. So let me go over to Twitter. I want to show you guys a couple of people that got scammed over this today. And I also have a UUC scammer report list to show you and some other information as well. The very first tweet I saw about this today was from a guy called Evan and he said good job Roblox going public but can't even make a functioning trading system. The dude got my playful vampire but I didn't get my silver king of the night. Guess that's 100k down the drain. And in the screenshots here it appears that he has completed a trade but the silver king of the night was actually a glitched item so when he accepted this he gave away his playful vampire and he got nothing in return. The hacker got both of the items for free. Let's just have a look at these screenshots quickly so as you can see this one's from Kalwina they sent a trade to stock total so they gave their playful vampire and apparently it says they received the silver king of the night but actually they got nothing and look at this guy's Rollymon's profile look at his value it is going crazy he obviously got all of these glitched items today Roblox seriously need to fix this and also in his Roblox inventory, we can see that so far today, he got four playful vampires. He also got a Valkhelm and he still owns his Silver King of the Night, which is his glitched item. He probably uses this to scam all of these items. The second tweet I want to show you guys is from Guy Awesome. And he said, bruh, I just lost rap due to this scumbag of a guy who took advantage of this critical glitch. Roblox is so broken. I lost rap because of this. Fix your damn website or I'll just quit. As we can see by this screenshot, he got a trade for the perfectly legitimate business fedora and he had the neon green beautiful hair. He saw this as a very good trade because his hair was only 7,000 and the fedora was 10,000. So what he did is he accepted the trade but he never got the fedora. And apparently this is the guy that scammed him and the guy has five fedoras in his inventory so I guess his fedoras are broken but honestly I don't know. Roblox Trading News did actually tweet out a list of players which are currently doing the UUC trading method. Some of the players on this list are people that have done it in the past and some of them are new. 
So here's the entire list. If you guys want to follow Roblox trading news over on Twitter, go ahead and follow them. They also said block these users. If they send you a trade, decline it. And he also said he's going to be adding more people to the list if they catch them using this method. And if you guys are wondering how to avoid getting scammed by this method, Roblox trading news did tweet out this. They said there is two ways to check if an item was glitched. One, trying to counter. If the items show as no longer owned when they still have them, it's glitched. And that is in the first picture. So as we can see, when they try to counter the trade, the glitched items appeared as no longer owned. And for step two, it says the UIAD of the item on Rollymons will show up with the same person over and over. And that is on the second picture. So as we can see, the owner is being updated, but it's the same UIAD and it's owned by the same guy. And there we have it guys, like I said, this is an updated version of my previous video because back then, yes, there was a couple of people doing it, but one month later, there are tons of people doing it and many people are getting hacked every day. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.